Hi guys, so today we're going to be making a double pocket letter which is a pocket letter that opens out, not a pocket letter sorry, a loaded envelope that opens out like a card in the centre. Um, you'll get to see what it is when we get there. So you need a piece of 12 by 12 to start. You need to score at half an inch, six inches and half an inch. Then turn it around and score at eight inches. Then put that to one side and you're going to need two pieces of eight and a quarter by six and a half and you're going to score on the six and a half side at half an inch six inches and on the eight and a quarter side you're going to score at eight and that's on both pieces you need two of those then you're going to need two of eight and a quarter by four and three quarters and you need on the four and three quarter side you need to score at four and three eighths on the eight and a quarter side you need to score at half an inch one inch one and a half inches seven inches seven and a half inches and eight and a quarter inches and you need to do that on both pieces now the DSP you're going to need put that away is unless you're using patterned paper of course in which case you won't need the DSP but I'm using DSP because it's stamping up products so you're going to need four pieces of seven and seven eighths by five and three eighths and you're going to need four pieces of five and three eighths by three and seven eighths so that's that now we get to folding and burnishing so we fold our large piece of 12 by 12 burnish all those edges really well and down the center this is what's going to make the back of your pocket letter, like so. Well, first of all, we need to cut down these two sides here. Would have if I had the scissors out ready. So we need to cut down all the way down to that score line. And just knot it like so and then notch and do the same on the other side cut all the way down that score line try and make it as neat as you can like so You fold in these two pieces, get some Tombow, pop that either side there. Well, before I put the Tombow on, I need to put some DSP on. So, ignoring my first comment about putting the Tombow on straight away. Don't do that. Put your DSP on first. And the two inside parts here. So you want one here. And centralise that up between the score lines. And another piece on the other side. We 
you can use tear and tape for this or anything you like basically then you combo both those edges and pull it up like so and push it down really firmly spread that glue about the same on to the side spread that glue around really firmly make sure you've got this central line line lined up this is what's going to create your inside pocket on your loaded envelope so then we can stick the DSP onto these parts here So you want the Tombow again. You don't need a lot of glue. Just make sure you catch those edges. Turn it over and doing exactly the same on the other side. You can obviously take a lot more time than I'm taking. To get this right. There we are. Now we need these pieces and we need to fold and burnish these edges. A quarter inch burnish at the bottom, we need to fold that and burnish and the side, in. side one, we need to fold that and burnish. Decide which is going to be your front and which is going to be your back. That's important to know. So. Right, I need to go and cut some more DSP. So I'll be back in a second. Right, we need to stick that DSP to our second piece. Making sure to get to all of those edges. This paper is DSP from Design of Pier Series Paper Range Tranquil Textures. It's beautiful paper. I recommend it to anybody. It's £10.25 for a 12 by 12 pack and can be found at my shop. Now, once you've burnished these edges here, you'll need to cut out this little rectangle that you'll be left with on either side. Once you've done that, just angle it out, notch it out rather, and do the same on this one. Now I'm going to eyeball this, well sorry, no, What I'm, first what I'm going to do is stick my DSP on the inside at the top and 
needs to be these larger, it needs to be the larger pieces or the smaller pieces. The larger pieces. So you need DSP to put at the top and it only needs to be at the top because it's the only bit of the part that's going to be seen once you do your collar cuffs. And I'll show you what I mean by collar cuffs in a minute. Trust me, you need to do this part. So... Unless, of course, you've got double-sided pattern paper that you're using, in which case you don't need to do this part. So that's that one. And do the same on this one. In between those score lines, right at the top there, like so. Then what we need to do is gauge, or I'm going to eyeball the centre. You can measure it if you like, but I'm going to eyeball it. And just cut down about three inches. And do exactly the same on both Cut down about three inches. Then you can fold those back like so. Now I'm going to take a pokey tool if I can find my pokey tool, which seems to have walked. Use an old one. Poke a hole. Get a brad. And pop the brad in there like that. Do exactly the same on the other side and do exactly the same on the other piece. And I'll be back in a second once I've done that. Right, so now I've done both my collars, I can stick them down onto my main piece. So I need to put Tombow all the way down the one side. All the way along the bottom and all up the other side. Let's try and get that in the right place. A good burnish down. And I'm going to turn it over and do exactly the same on the other side, and I'll be back. Right, so I've done both sides now, so you can see that it's starting to come together now as a pocket letter that opens in the centre. So now what I want to do is Fold and burnish these ones, accordion style. You'll notice that on the one side you've only got a one quarter inch flap, that won't actually matter when it comes to sticking it down, it'll still be the same difference. 
and burnish the bottom one. And cut away these bottom rectangles. And just notch the bottom one like so and stick tombow be careful on that quarter inch edge And that one, That's the bottom flap, and the other side flap, stick that down. As neatly as you can. I said you'll have much more time than me to get this right. Hopefully you'll get the size of your DSP right as well. I did give you the right measurements, just I've cut this a bit short, unfortunately. But it's okay because I'm going to hide it with my pop of petals, which I'll show you in a moment. stuck down your peer DSP will fit unlike mine but even if it doesn't I mean you could cover that with a piece of lace or anything that you're going to decorate right I'm going to go and wait and do the other side and I'll be back in a minute there we are so I've done both sides now each side is the same the large pocket front a large pocket on the inside and then two pockets on the inside here and we now need to put DSP on these two pieces so we'll just do that quickly and this matches the inside of that obviously we'll just get on with that And the inside of this is great for holding stickers or cards, is what I normally put in there. Gift some ready-made cards. Anything that's flat. Not too bulky. That is your basic double pocket letter, which opens out. So I've used the Spot of Tea Framelit dies and the Time for Tea stamp set and the Pop of Petals stamp set, along with the Pop of Petals punch. 
and I'm going to decorate using a stamp set on the inside here and here I've done that in Coastal Cabana which matches very well with this Tranquil Textures set. I'm not popping these up on dimensionals simply because I want it to be able to stay as flat as possible. the one side and exactly the same on to the side you can obviously stick whatever sentiment you like it's just a case of decoration now so this is the enjoyable part for me although I have to say I enjoy the construction as well just as much as I do the decoration. That's that from the Time for Tea stamp set and framelits. And now to do the outside, I'm going to use the pop of petals, which I've decorated with Coastal Cabana, and I've used black, and I've also used the blended Seasons pencils to do a little bit of colouring in. Two, three, four, two, three, four. And I'm going to use these to cover up my mistake here at the top. Stick down. I'm running out of Tombow. And that covers up that mistake nicely. You obviously decorate whichever way you like. Well, that's it. 
and I shall do the other side off camera but that's basically what you get you get your inside your outside your front and your back to use and I think it's just a nice idea and it's different so yep yeah, that's it that's my idea guys if you like what you see put your thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please do if you'd like to buy any of the products that you see me use today then please follow my shop which is the s on my channel art and um for stamping up and the shops on there on my blog and i will catch you again next time i've been tammy and i'll see you later bye bye now